that claim of fine-tuning is ridiculous because, in fact, if the energy of empty space was zero, which is a, by far a more natural value, the universe would be a better place for life to live. It, we all thought it was zero when I was a graduate student because that was a natural value. If it was zero, the universe would be a better place. In fact, you can show the value that it has now makes the universe the worst of all possible universes to live in for the future of life. So, so much for a universe created for us. <laughs> now, once Darwin had uh, removed the apparent need for God in, in evolution of life, the last bastion for God was the creation of the universe. How you can get something from nothing. And what we're in a remarkable situation of, of, of being in is precisely the same situation that Darwin existed in 150 years ago. Namely, we have a plausible explanation of how a universe could precisely come from nothing. If you ask what would be the characteristics of a universe that came from nothing, by natural laws, it would be precisely the characteristics of the universe we observe. And it didn't have to be that way. It could have been another way. And by nothing, and it, the, the, my opponents will say that by nothing I'm not talking about nothing, but I'm talking about nothing. No particles, no radiation, no space, no time, and even no laws of physics. Our, my opponents might argue that the multiverse, which our universe might have spontaneously been created in, was created by physicists because they don't like God, because it's eternal and exists outside our universe, the same characteristics that God is supposed to have. But it wasn't created because we don't like God, although I don't like God. <laughs> it was, it, we've been driven to it by measurements. In fact, I don't even like the multiverse, but I've learned to force my beliefs to conform to the evidence of reality. That's where science differs from religion. There do remain deep philosophical and scientific questions that are unanswered, but God is not required or useful to explain any of them. And therefore, to conclude, science has taught us that we don't need God to create a universe, that there's no evidence for God, that the specific scientific claims of those who require God disagree with empirical evidence, and it's irrational. Science refutes God. So clearly, you should vote for our side. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence Krauss. And that is our